I'm Aideen. And I'm Quiva. And we're here with DCU TV at the Netflix and Chill Ball and we're joined by the wonderful Mattress Mick and his mattress buddy. <laughs> So, um, Mick, you are attending the Netflix and Chill Ball tonight, but of course you are an internet sensation. So we wanted to know, how much has that internet sensation affected business? Well, to be very honest, if I wasn't an internet sensation, I would not be in business. Because it was, it has been a tremendous boost to my whole profile. My profile brings people to my shop. Uh, they don't even, a lot of people don't even think I exist. Hmm. They think, is this, an actor? <laughs> is this an actor or is this somebody who, who is just playing a game? So I get a lot of people who come to the shop out of pure curiosity. Wow. And do they end up buying mattresses? Oh, absolutely. Oh, brilliant. I, a little birdie told me that people actually come to your store to get the cutouts of you to bring to parties. Is That's that true? right. Yeah, I've been carried away in some funny looking cars. <laughs> what we have is a, a cardboard cutout of myself. I was mm -hmm. going to bring one here tonight, but I didn't know. Oh, I should have done. You should have done it one. I would have put it in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we have them around the shop and yeah, people do invite me or bring me home to attend parties and weddings. I've actually been at a wedding, I've been at a funeral, I know I've been at 21sts in, wow. my, car in my cardboard state. And what about your real estate? Have you been oh, yeah. invited to any weddings, parties? I've been at, I do a lot of, uh, we say for example, I'm a judge at the uh, Strictly Come Dancing competitions, oh, wow. uh, which I totally enjoy because it's great. Uh, I have 21sts. I've also been at, uh, what do you call it, race meetings, race nights, oh, wow. different things. And it's right. great, great fun. And does uh, Matt's body come over here with no, you? No, no, I couldn't take oh. that. I hate too much. <laughs> we work together, we love one another, but we need our space. But sometimes we need our space. That's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And you yourself, you are a YouTube sa sensation. Now me and Quiva were actually YouTubers as well. So oh. you're wondering if you have any words of advice for us to break out in the YouTube scene. Well, what I do, I rehearse nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Just any, like us, to yeah, be pretty much. Now, any of my videos that you've seen, I stand in front of the camera and I just act what comes into my head or say what comes into my head. No rehearsal, no notes, no prompts, no nothing. Mm -hmm. And that is why I think, because some of them are not terribly professional, because it's mistakes, that's why I think they're working. Mm -hmm. People like because, them. Yeah, because they're natural, they're not, you know, trained videos and mm -hmm. I'm not a trained actor, I'm not a trained personality, but that's why I think why, why it works. Mm -hmm. And it's it's more fun when you make mistakes too. Yeah. Well <laughs> <laughs> something for people yeah. to laugh at. Yeah, and it's good and I enjoy it and I think people can respond to it because they're dealing with an individual, they're dealing with you know a person that they can touch and feel. Mm -hmm. But one of the big things that I do when a customer goes into my shop is I say, Will you give me a hook? Now you get a woman coming in to buy uh -huh. an actress. One of seven wants to give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and do they give you a hug? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so absolutely. he came here. You hit with the ladies ever since you've been ah, on yeah, it in the ah, YouTube yeah, scene. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. They love me. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're getting lots of fan mail. Absolutely. No, I'm not <laughs> no. a fan mail, but I get a lot of fun and a lot of recognition. When you're recognised and people come up to you, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it means that something is working. Yeah. And this happens quite a lot, and it's happening more and more. Since back with the Bang video, which has had a lot of hits. <laughs> Stephen Fry gave me a tweet a couple of years, a year wow. ago, which was fantastic. And people remember that. But one thing, I've been on the radio a few times on the different stations, but everything, every says, I heard you on the Joe Duffy show. I've never been on the Joe Duffy show. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on other shows, but people just assume, when you're on radio, you're on Joe Duffy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I find all this terribly amusing, and it's good fun. It's great. Mm. And who first came up with the idea that you should be making videos? Uh, well. I created the idea of Mattress Mick. I needed to do something different because I was always in the furniture business mm -hmm. and things were a bit tough. So I looked up my business. I was up in the Northside Shopping Centre for nearly 25 years and we were selling more mattresses and beds than anything else. So I said, right, things are not going so good up in the Northside and I had a couple of shops. So I said, we'll concentrate on mattresses. Now, not having a huge budget like my competitors, I said, right, I have to come up with something different. And taking my appearance and my personality, I decided to just do it myself, become, create a mattress maker, or mattress Mickey, or Mickey mattress, or whatever. <laughs> I just, well, I decided on mattress make. And uh, it's my idea. The guy who does my stuff, uh, my videos, Paul Kelly, we have a studio on Pier Street, and I shop behind a shop on Pier Street, with mm -hmm. a full green screen and everything else. And Paul and I work very closely together in putting the videos. Hmm. And would Paul be um, an administrator on your Facebook page, or is that yeah, okay as well? Yeah, no, Paul does everything. Okay, cool. He does all my social media. I'm actually quite hopeless at it. It's kind of 
yes, I'm a bit old to be broke. I didn't grow up with But no, Paul looks after all of that. Hmm. Now you're here at the Netflix and Chill Ball tonight, yes. so we have a few questions regarding Netflix. What is your favourite programme on Netflix? Do you even watch Netflix? I don't even watch Netflix. Oh, well there I you go. That's a big question. I don't know what Netflix <laughs> is. But you do like to chill with your mattresses. I do. <laughs> so that's the main so, thing. So what is Netflix? Ne Netflix. Netflix is a streaming website and right. there's lots of series on it. Right. Um, so we actually aren't dressed up as Netflix characters tonight. We no. opted with the chill, just like you. Yeah. So that's why we're in our pajamas. Okay. I was yep. kind of wondering what the reason for that was. Yeah. Like to yeah. Ask, you know? So there's going to be a lot of pajamas tonight. There's also going to be a lot of people dressed up as Netflix characters. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be, on Netflix there's lots of films, there's lots of TV programs. Yeah, I know, so that. I know that. What would know your that. favourite TV programme be then? Um, I like the, and I love these uh, police dramas regarding, like, uh, what's the famous one that I like? Um, Unsolved Mysteries, oh, yeah. things like that. I love that type of... There's a lot of that on yeah. Netflix. You should definitely get on Netflix. Yeah, really? Yeah, you definitely. have your own Netflix series. Mm, I love that. I love those <laughs> like, my own. <laughs> I like uh, talk programmes. I like... I won't say the late late show, but I like that type of formula. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I enjoy that. So and you can do that as well. Your own talk show. We're, we're going to actually. Uh, oh, and that's the project we're working on is to have a talk show, the mattress make talk show, where I'll be talking about mattresses and about sleep. <laughs> well, if you're ever looking for guest speakers, sign yeah. us up. Yeah, we so, want to do that. See, sleep is very important. Sleep is your wellness. Sleep is your whole health. <laughs> and. Uh, a lot of people don't actually realise that. The importance of it. The and the importance of a good mattress, <laughs> which you can get in your shop. It's Absolutely. all so connected. Yeah, I know. Very clever. Very so clever. So we decided we'd have a, uh, we'd do, we're doing a pilot show actually next week, where I will be like, let's say, um, Kate Bourne used to be like, he'd be, I'd be mm -hmm. sitting on the mm -hmm. chair, and then I'd have guests in from the public, from my manufacturers, my suppliers, asking what they're looking for, how mattresses are made, explain to the public, and the importance of sleep. Brilliant! Well, we're going to be definitely looking at that, and hopefully it'll get to Netflix at some stage. You never know. Might do. It's a different idea anyway. It's, it is, it definitely is. It'll be a bit of fun, but we, <laughs> one thing we're going to do, if you notice at all these shows, you always have a guest singer. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is get a guest busker. We are going to, at least I am going to go down and say, Henry Cedar O'Connor, find somebody mm -hmm. singing mm -hmm. on the street, and ask them to make a guest appearance on the show. Brilliant idea. I think it's a good Sporting idea. Supporting local it, music as well. Well, it's, it'll give some poor devil, or girl, or whatever, a <laughs> chance to you know get on television or get on the net, on 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 the computers on mm -hmm. YouTube. You never know. Yep. It could work for them. Well, Mattress Mick, thank you so much for joining us okay, today. Very welcome. Don't thank forget you to me. tune in to DCU TV to see the rest of our interviews at the Netflix and Chill Ball.